Public involvement is a critical component in the transportation decision-making process, but getting people to participate and offer feedback can be difficult. Now, new technology makes getting involved more convenient. Virtual public involvement tools really expand our reach. It allows people to interact with our information and participate in public process on their own time in their own places. How do I take this in-person public meeting and put it into a digital format so that someone like myself, a, you know, a busy mom with three kids, can participate in the transportation decision-making process whenever she has time. Tools include mobile apps, project visualizations, do-it-yourself videos, crowdsourcing, online meetings, online mapping tools, all-in-one platforms, digital tools to enhance in-person events, and much more. Until recently, DOTs and local agencies gathered public feedback by traditional methods, such as hosting in-person town hall meetings and mailing flyers. The best public involvement is going to take the best of both worlds, both in-person public involvement or traditional public involvement tools, and match them up with some of these virtual public involvement tools. Washington State DOT created a video with 3D modeling to explain the benefits of a proposed diverging diamond interchange. It now has one million views. We've had so many um, uh, good comments about it, and a lot of people that have come on board initially with the DDI and have very negative comments. They watch that video and then they go, you know what, I, I, I think we need this. North Carolina DOT used an online portal to enhance participation in its State Transportation Improvement Program, or STIP. The portal features project information so citizens can select transportation priorities that are most important to them in their region. We went from having probably two to three hundred people provide feedback in the STIP process to over three thousand. Utah DOT uses story maps as a tool to help explain complex projects and processes. These story maps allow you to make it an interactive multimedia website, really, um, with all the functionality of GIS, which means you can um, zoom in and out and manipulate the map with data layers. And so we found that a great way to um, communicate complex information and organize that information into a narrative form that helps break it down in a way that people can understand. With virtual public involvement and, and conducting your visual communication effort virtually, you will win. You will find a lot more yeses. You will gain a lot more consent. And at the end of the day, if you're saving time, you're saving money. And our infrastructure and our public deserve it. To learn more about virtual public involvement or other Everyday Counts initiatives, visit our website.